tremendous news that large Allied forces had been landed under naval escort on the south coast of France came just as we learned that the German army in the north had been knocked groggy. First pictures to be rushed back to this country show the new invasion getting underway. Spirits are high as the troops taking part in this great venture are given their orders before zero hour. More than 800 Allied ships are on their way to the Riviera coast. Equipment and weapons are given a last polish in readiness for the assault. Aeroplanes tow hundreds of gliders carrying picked troops to be dropped at key points behind the enemy's coastal defences. This glider is not dragging its aeroplane backwards. The plane from which these pictures are being taken is moving faster than the rest. The gliders cross the coastline without any opposition from the enemy. Soon the men inside them will be touching down on the soil of France. Zero hour. The Navy's guns open up to silence the German shore batteries and so stop them from interfering with the Allied landings. The bombardment is well on the targets and many of the Nazi coast defences are knocked out. Supporting aircraft provide the eyes of the invasion forces as the landing craft make their way towards the shore. It won't be long now. first troops to land had been dropped by parachute shortly before dawn. These pictures illustrate the work of these paratroops. More than a thousand of them were in the air at a time. Here's one of the strangest stories of the war. Many times have we heard of enemy troops coming into our lines to give themselves up, but these two couldn't wait for that. They are next to dinghy, rowed out to our ships and asked to be taken prisoner. lays down a heavy smoke screen to cover the assault troops as they prepare to go in. At last, the Riviera beaches crunch under the bows of our landing craft as the first wave of assault troops goes ashore. Opposition is lighter than the Allied commanders had dared to hope, and in record time, a beachhead is firmly established. The Allied forces strike inland, and soon the first haul of prisoners comes in, 700 in the first few hours. As we go to print, the total of prisoners has risen to 14,000, and the Allied forces have reached 60 miles inland. Things are moving fast, too fast for the bewildered German high command. Now, 